thing that I kind of was enamored with was the eventual conflict between the advanced team and the guys who were riding the bikes playing the game. See, the guys who rode the bikes and played in the game, for the most part, were the Johnny Come Late. You know, they came in and then they were doing the physical aspect of this tour. They didn't think that the other kids were carrying their weight, but they don't, they lose sight of the fact that these kids have been in the classroom for two years prior to that, working their tails off to do this, and then they were riding into the towns and setting up everything, and so to see them have that conflict, and then see them come together and, and basically hatch out and resolve those conflicts, I think it was just as, a, as valuable a learning skill as anything else. You know, these are real life kinds of scenarios that occur every day on the job. You got somebody who feels like they ain't carrying their weight and that I'm doing more than what you're doing. And, and so the ability for them not only to, to see this as an issue, but then to come together and get it resolved. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why when I talk about exper experimental learning, I think it's one of the most amazing experimental learning projects uh, ever. For, for all of those things, not just the curriculum-based things that naturally they put a part of this program uh, and this project, but those life lessons that are learned when you're on the road for that many days, you got to figure out, you know, these kinds of issues that may arise, that may arise along the journey. You can only plan so much, and ultimately, something's going to stray away from that plan. Something's going to be altered. You know, in this case, they started running out of money. And, and okay, how do we finish this trip? We don't have any money. You know, and they found a way to do it. And I think uh, what is so heartwarming is these kids were fully invested in this project, and you can see it. They did not want this project to fall short. They were determined that they were going to get to Kansas City somehow or another. And, and I think that's where that real kind of compelling nature of the film comes to the forefront when you see the investment that these young people had in it. You know, it meant a lot to them.